Okay, so this particular Zoom is going to be set up for income producing activity. Listen, I am a absolute proponent on you got to know your focus and then you have got to work that focus daily. And that is the key to growing a business in this industry. You know, I look at Ann Wilson. She was one of the founding brand partners of Tahitian Noni years and years ago. Guess what she just qualified for? Catalyst Club. Catalyst Club. VIP. You know what? Because the art of this industry is once you figure it out, if you'll just stay focused in the right areas, you can grow. No matter if you've been in the industry 28 years, 30 years, 35 years, or you're just starting. The opportunity is there to grow. And so it's all focused around income. I call it IPA. Income, and we're going to bring some people up today that's been working in the income producing activity. We got a couple of things going on right now. One, Ashley Paulson does a call, an income producing activity call. So here's how it happened. Todd Rowland does an income producing activity call five days a week with a group of people. And then Ashley is in that group. And then she jumped and said, I want to serve by doing the income producing activity call to the rest of the field. To where we come in and we hold each other accountable and we're just real with each other. Because if I were to ask you yesterday, did you call anyone? If I were to ask you yesterday, did you do a, a meeting? Whether it be Zoom, 201, party last night, like did you, what did you do yesterday to drive income into your business personally? See, if we were having real honest conversations, most people don't do the IPAs to create the result, results they want. And so what do they do? They complain about not being where they want to be, but they didn't do the work to get to where they want to be. And it's just cycle. Now we love everybody. So if they're just sitting there drinking and they inspire, they, but they just can't say, well, we're going to continue to love them, continue to be a part of our group. But our job as leaders is to develop people into knowing where to focus and where to govern their self every day. Now, I compete with myself. You've heard that over and over and over me talk about it. Andrea lives like 15 minutes from my office. So she probably sees day to day, and I'm just throwing myself under the bus, talking about myself right quick. She probably sees day to day what I do more than anybody. And so my IPA is really simple. I look at my business and I go, am I, am I sharing the product? Am I sharing the opportunity? Am I building for events? Okay. Am I attending events? Okay. Now I'll give you a great example. Income producing activity means I'm focused on doing these every day, every day, every day. And so yesterday, I could come here and go, yes, I shared the product. Yes, I shared the opportunity. Yes, I did things to build for the events. Yes, I had a party last night in Southern Tennessee. So I can tangibly see. And I can put numbers with these. I showed it to three people, two people, one. But the bottom line is I'm doing an income producing activity every single day of my life. And it doesn't have to consume me. Like, like I'm one. I, I, I have, I mean, I'm just telling you my personal story. I have real estate. I have other 
things, other businesses, very active. But I know that when I lay my head down tonight, I'm going to do what I need to do in network marketing to get me to where I want to go. I didn't get that. And so I want to focus you around, you know, that's just something really tangible that I can see. And Andrea, maybe unmute. What what do you see? What do you see? Am, am I? I see that you are. Do I really do? Yes, or what? You are always doing that. So if you yeah. ever want to feel a little bit like motivated and that you're looking at your calendar and you're like, wow, I'm not quite filling in my calendar the way that perhaps I should be, go look at Brent's calendar because he definitely does a lot of income producing activities in a calendar day. Yeah. And, and I'm not bragging on myself. It sounds like we're bragging on me. I'm not doing that. But I was taught by what I believe was one of the best in the industry that built that said, if you'll just focus in the right areas, you, you, you can grow. Andrea Rosser right now, today, is focused in a direction to hit Catalyst Club VIP3. Andrea, what have you been doing all day today? Why haven't you called me? Because <laughs> I was busy. I have been on the phone all morning. I woke people up in California. I reached out to people locally. It's been a, a phone call, busy, 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 busy day. Tell us, tell us, uh, be honest. Tell us what, tell us what some of those calls are like. Well, like, because, so what I did today. So hold, hold on, since, let me say this first. Let me set this up. Let me set this up. Okay. You've been full time in the industry for a decade, meaning okay. her kids know no other way that mom brings in money to support them. Like she has been full time at home. She homeschools the kids. They've grown up. Her daughter's 17. Her son's 14. Like, like, so they don't know any other way that mom operates business. But now we're running for Catalyst Club. So now she's getting down the wire. Tanya Phelps was getting down the wire. Tanya Phelps was getting down the wire the other day. And she's like, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. She's calling me on Saturday. She made it happen. But Andrea's like, I'm getting there. So there's got to be this big, amazing thing you're doing to get your customers today. What are you doing? Well, so what I did today is I reached out to like my closest humans that they all know exactly what I do. They've all been involved in the business at some point or they've all consumed products at different points. Like these are not fresh eyes, but I reached out to them and I said, guys, I'm running for a promotion and I need you to support me. So I'm gonna send you like, well, I think I sent them a few different products, but I told them the first thing I said, I would love for you to be on Renew. This is the product that's got me most excited for what we have right now. But if you don't want that, then you can check out, I'll send you a couple other recommendations too. I don't care what you order, just order something. And I literally sent them links for Renew with like stars and star eyes, blah, blah, blah. So I called them all on the phone and said, hey, will you help me? I need your help. I support your kids when they sell popcorn. You can help me. Um, and then send them, you know, renew with all the star eyes. And then I included the skinny drops because who doesn't want to lose a few? Um, I included kids vitamins cause they all have kids. Uh, I included the eyelash because who doesn't want better eyelashes. And then I included toothpaste. Cause I said, if all you can do is toothpaste, you need to brush your teeth. So support me with some toothpaste. Well, I, I share that with you because you might be sitting there going, well, I'm not, I don't want to do that. Well, I didn't want to do that either. <laughs> she didn't, didn't want to do it either. <laughs> but at the end of the day, her focus is around what? Getting the Catalyst Club VIP3. Like she has set her sight. She will not let the, I mean, I already tell you, she will find a way to get there. And maybe yours is VIP1. You go, you know what? I just got to get into the Catalyst Club. Okay, get there. Like, find a way to make it happen. And a lot of times you've got to announce it. Like, I'm, 
Like, yeah, I'm going to write it down like it's happening. And then you got to write up a plan to achieve it. So today was her plan. She's like, I'm focusing. I'm making calls. I'm going to reach out to people that support me to get it done. Now, I want to share a story with you. One of my best friends in the world, 12 years ago, supported me in a contest. Listen now. One of my best friends in the world that was never going to do the business supported me in a contest. It was a phone call made that said, listen, I'm running for a rank. Would you support me? Would you do this with me to help me achieve the rank? I promise you, I'll, I'll always be there to support you. I just need this. He comes on board as a brand partner. Today, he has built probably one of the top 10 biggest businesses that I ever built in my business. And he still draws a massive residual income check off of that. You don't know what you don't know. Like you, you can't figure it out. You just find a way to get them through the door and see what, what happens after that. Like see what happens after that. So I'm going to go with this. Income producing activity. Focus. Focus. So I'm going to use Andrea as my guinea pig. But I told you last week, focus around yourself. Like we drew this up last week, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I got a plan right here. Okay. If you'll listen to this plan or watch this video, you're going to see what will really keep you on track to building a business. Okay. So I talked to Andrea and Andrea said, here's what I'm focusing on right now. She said, I'm focusing hard on Catalyst Club. VIP three. She said, I'm also focusing on February the 11th when our company is launching their new name. She said, I'm also focusing on the Renew System of Growth And I'm also focusing on Shop Live on Wednesday. Now, this was, I, I, I basically asked her, what are you, let's talk about your focus right here. So nothing else matters. So she loves Dr. Crystal Vance. But do you see her name on here? So if she's got four hours today to give to network marketing, three of them is not Dr. Crystal Vance. I'm being, I'm joking. Okay, okay, I'm trying to be funny. But you don't see Mac on here. She loves Mac, but Mac's not on here. She might give Mac a call and say, how you doing? Just wanted to say hi, but I got to go because I got stuff to do. I got, I got a, a, an amount of time and I got to focus in on this time. Okay? Now. What does she need to focus? Okay, what, what, what does she need? So a two by two. <laughs> I can't, ex if you do not have someone that is your go-to buddy that's helping you in this business, you got to get one. And everybody can't call Dr. Crystal Vance to be the two by two. That's not the two by two. Like the two by two is Anna and Kathy teaming up and going, hey, we're going to leverage each other, leverage each other to build a business. So if I need a call, I'll call you. If you need a call, you call me. Like we'll work together. If we need a Zoom, we'll work together. Okay. Like you just find someone to do, run two by two with. Does that make sense? Everybody follow me. Maybe put a one if you get that. So I know, I know. We, we're okay, good, good, good. So I want you to visualize this, maybe take a picture of it and make that your own. What are you focusing on? Because if you're sitting there going, I'm focusing on the drops, I'm focusing on the system of growth, I'm focusing on MOA, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on, okay, you better get concise with your focus. 
okay, and know what you're what you're dealing with. Now, I'm going to move this right here. I'll go back to it if you need it in a minute. Now, sorry. Okay, I'm going to move to one right here. So here's my income producing activity. So one that Andrea had was she wants to be Catalyst Club VIP three. What is yours? Put it in the comments. What's yours on Catalyst Club? What do if you if you got to be one, two, or three? Anthony Moreland's is three. Lynette's one. Diane's three. Come on, come with it. Come with it. I are are you on this call and you're not going to be on Catalyst Club? Come on. I know that's not the case. Everybody on this call is going after something. Dr. Krista three. Joan Klein, Sandy's VIP one, Andrew Jackson's one. Just get in the club, right? Get in the club. Find a way to get into the club. And if you don't know how to get in the club by now, please reach out to Andrew or Hosser, like, like Texture. Somebody will reach out to you to share with you how to get in the club. So, so one of her focuses is this. So we talked, and it's like, that means you got to write business. I mean, you can't get in there without writing business. So I want you to think about this. Who on your list could be customers or brand partner? Who, who's going to support you here? Who's going to support you? Because the conversation looks a little different. Here's how the conversation goes. The converse, conversation goes something like this. I'm running for a title as a founding person in our company. Because February 11th, we're launching a new name. And I would love for you to support me in that endeavor. So I told Andrea, I was like, who do you have that would be a customer? Don't prejudge just who do you have? Because right now is when you're picking up the phone and you're calling those people. Put a five in the chat. If you know somebody right now, I call them like my jail buddy. Don't laugh at me. But like, like the person that if you did get put in jail, you feel like you got a good shot of them coming and bailing you out. Right? How many of you got jail buddies, right? That, that you're like, I think I can get them to help bail me out. So their names go on the list. Like, like this is what I'm running for. And I just, you could become a customer of mine to, and that would help me get there and the products would really be good for you. We got this HGH products phenomenal. I'll give up my discounts, my whatever to get you. You realize a customer, you can, you, I'm just giving you a shot. I'm not telling you to give all your money or all of that, but I am telling you to find a way to get in the club. So whether that's giving your 15% and putting them on auto ship and figuring out a way later, if they don't want auto ship, you get the point. Customer can get 30% off, figure out a way. If you're trying to cross the finish line to get in that club, then it's like, who do you got brand partner wise that's on the fence, somebody straddling, somebody I could call. And now I'm focused on Okay, I'm focused on making those calls because, see, Andrea's focus is getting there by January the 31st. She has zero time right now to be worried about, you know, what I'm doing, what Frank's doing, what's going on, you know, all of that. She's focused on writing business to get in the club. Doing anything else, she's not focused in the right area because I've already showed you. That should be all her focus is. So now she's doing that, okay? She's doing that. Now I'll go with another one. Second area, she said, she's gonna focus on February the 11th too, okay? So that means she's waking up today. So when I talk about income producing activity, would this be income producing activity? 
Anthony, you've been on the income producing activity call. Is, is me reaching out trying to get a customer today income producing activity? Go, can you unmute? Okay, you can't. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll make it where you can. So here's the thing. Here's what is not income producing activity. Read my book today. Oh, let me show you. For all you book readers out there, I didn't say it was bad. I got one too. I got one too. I read every day. Okay. But it's not income producing. It's not going to pay my, like, like this is great. It will produce income, but it's slow. I'm talking about like, what's going to write business today? That right there will write business today. Anthony, you've been on income producing activity calls. What's been your biggest takeaway? We're going to get this figured out in a minute. We'll come back. Okay, okay. you got it. Uh, my biggest takeaway is really understanding what true income producing activity is not like you said we can do personal growth we can jump on this zoom with you and this is an income producing activity this is just it's more like teaching motivation leadership learning learning but that's not income producing activity we no so, nobody on here makes any money from doing that so even the income producing activity call is not income producing activity correct think about it it's what you're learning, and then you got to go put it into action is actually the income producing activity. So go go ahead, Anthony. What's it? So that's the biggest takeaway. What is it and like what Ashley does and what Todd had put us on, it's just something when you get on a call like that and you have other people, nobody wants to be, to be honest, I don't everybody I talk to, nobody wants to be that person that gets on that call and hasn't done anything. See, on the one in the morning, the one we do, we all kind of go around the room and say, hey, what we have planned for today and what we did yesterday. So it's kind of like nobody kind of wants to be that person like, hey, I didn't do anything. And what I watched just from the beginning of the year, from when we started doing this with our call, is I watched everybody in that group, whether they were brand new, like Ed Hodge, I'm talking about brand new to the industry, never done anything, to people who've been around like myself and Hill and Diane have all at least achieved Catalyst Club one, at least. And so it's just, it's amazing when you find people that you can do it with and you actually do the notes and books to make you money here. I love it. I love it. I love it. And here's the thing. Every focus. So every one of these focuses I'm going to turn into income producing activity. Okay. So when you watch me, every one of the focuses for Andrea is going to have the ability to write and make money. The first one, customer base, brand partner base. She's going to talk to them about, she's got a rank she's trying to hit. She's working to hit. Would they be there? Do you realize people will do more for you? Than they'll do for their sale. Think about when somebody calls you up and they need a favor, how you feel. So guess what? The world around you feels the same way. Now you can't do it every day, but there's opportunities in your business you absolutely can do. February the 11th, same thing. Here's how I focus on February the 11th. The first thing I do is I look at my team's involvement. Let me ask you a question. Is your team, could you create income through your team? Yeah. That's your leverage piece. That's a beautiful thing. Now, what Anthony and them have been on is income producing activities solely individually for their self, writing business. But there's also team involvement that creates income produced. Okay, and it's the leverage. So my team involvement, I got to ask myself, how am I building for this event for February the 11th? Like, what am I doing with my team to get them excited, to show excitement for February the 11th? Like, what? Let me ask you a question. Have you done a Zoom with your team? If you, if you say, well, no, I'm kind of leaving that up to 
Brent or Todd or Anthony, like, like, are you, no. Like if I were to ask Dr. Crystal Vance right now, the answer would be yes. If I were to ask Ashley, which is in Crystal's business, but then Ashley has her own. So you find ways to get your team on. And like Anthony has said the other day, you got to show excitement. Like here's what's coming February the 11th. Guess what, team? I just created a two-minute video to share the excitement of February the 11th that you can use to share with your people. And then what I would do is I'm looking at February the 11th as, new, as team involvement. I'm going to build for the event every day. What are you putting on social media? What kind of calls are you doing to your team? What kind of strategies are you running to build for February the 11th, the announcement of our new company to the world. And then the other is new recruits, because that's a different talk. New recruits is like, I personally, and I shared it last week, I made a two minute video right here. Everybody could do it. I made a two minute video and Andrew, I don't know if you can share that again, but I just shared my excitement about February the 11th. You could copy that video, make it your own. And then you could start today, like doing the three T's, talk, tool, team up. What does that mean? I call somebody and go, look, I'm so excited about February the 11th. Our company is coming out with a new name. I'd like to tune you into it. I've got a video I want to share with you. If I shared it with you, would you take time to watch it? Yes. Then they do that. Listen, you could reach back out to me. Here's a key thing on a follow-up of a video. Please listen to this. If you send somebody a video, when you send it, make sure you tell them, listen, you can absolutely reach out to me when this is over. But I'm going to reach back out to you if I don't hear from you. Go ahead and let them know you're going to be reaching back out. So, Andrea, is that okay? Yes, I got a question in the chat and I was answering it. Sorry, you're okay. great. That's great. <laughs> There's something going on with Sandy Smith's I'm just making yes, sure. Yes, that's that's her okay. camera. So, any questions about the three T's, Andrea? Right here, two minute video. You need a tool to be able to do the three T's. If you don't have a tool, if you don't have video, is some of the easiest tools. So it's like, so Anthony, you be my narrator today, or or my comeback guy. If I sit down today and, and work the three T's, is that income producing activity? Absolutely. Okay. So I can put a dollar sign. Okay, follow me here now. Is this income producing activity? Absolutely. Okay. So two different focuses, both producing income producing activity. Okay. So I, I, I want you to ask yourself as we're doing this, how you could improve. Okay, Wednesday Shop Live. Laura Sales will be on Wednesday doing what? I'm just gonna put eyelash. <laughs> Whatever, what is that product? Okay. Eyelash. Lip and lash. Lip and Lip lash. Lip and lash. Makes your lips bigger and your eyes longer. Um, lashes longer, something like that. Uh, but here's the thing. So lip and lash. <laughs> Frank, I'll let him do it. Frank, you got anything to add on the lip and lash? <laughs> he just, he tips his cowboy hat. All right. So here's the thing with the lip and lash. Andrea says, okay, shop live Wednesday. Do I wait till Wednesday to work the lip and lash? No. I go right now, I look for some material behind the lip and lash. 
Like I, 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 I got to figure out what kind of material I need. Maybe there's a little short video on the lip and lash. I don't know. And then I start to make a list. Okay, lip and lash. I got some, I got some lady friends that, that, that really, they're into this. So I'm going to make sure that by Tuesday, or I'm going to make sure that, you know, I, I, I go, okay, tomorrow might be Andrea's day that she's going to plug everybody into the lip and lash for Wednesday. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe she does it next Monday, two days before Wednesday. But all that day, she's reaching out. She's, remember, all business is, is conversations. So now her focus is she's having conversations on Monday centered around lip and lash with people, lip and lash with people for the shop live on Wednesday, shop live on Wednesday. Anthony, is that income producing activity? Absolutely. So here we go. So, so far, we've done three different ways to do income producing activity, all yielding customers and brand partners. So, and here's where I would be smart with it. I would look and I would schedule these out. Andrea says, hey, today I'm working here. Maybe to, you know, and, and then she figures out, okay, February the 11th, I'm going to build for events every day. But I'm gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna focus hard on February the 11th with recruits, and then on Thursday I'm gonna hammer the shop live. Right. So I'm labeling out. I'm setting my days for those specific focuses. That's one way to do it. Then the last one, Andrea said she was gonna focus on the renew trials. Okay, the renewed trials and follow-ups for the box, okay? Renew trials and follow-up for the box. And then the last one is, um, I'm gonna put funnel to weekly Zooms. Like guys, this is, I mean, if you get this down, you could, I mean, you got a system now, like you got a plan of action to do. So here's, here's what I mean. She comes here and goes, okay, I'm going to focus here. Here's the, here's the person, here's my 10 people that's got a trial in their hand right now that I got to follow up. So I got to follow up with these I got to do follow-ups. Okay. You go, what I do with the follow-ups? Well, I could go to the boards out. I got to simply call them and have a conversation with them. Oh my goodness. I know you're loving the renew. What's going on with you lady? And she says, oh, I'm asleep. And I, well, you know, it's only five days. You better go ahead and get you a 28 day box. And then guess what I just did? I took number six right here and just converted them over to a customer on a box. Do you know how many people in our organization right now, think about this. Do you know how many people are selling a trial and never following back up? Because there's no focus. If you wanna know how to do an income producing activity, sell a trial, and follow up and watch it convert to a box. Somebody, if somebody's y'all use this, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Brendan. I know you're, I know you're loving it. What do you love most about it? Is it the sleep? Is it the energy? What do you love most? Well, I don't, I don't really like the taste, but I, I tell you what, I have noticed it in my sleep. Oh, you're going to continue to notice it. So here's the thing, you only got five. Let's go ahead and get you on a box of this. So you've got a whole month, you don't run out. Okay, but I just, I just got good at doing a conversion, following up, getting a conversion. So now, is that income producing activity, Anthony? 
Yes, it is. Absolutely, because I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm working. And then I go, okay, I got a Tuesday night Zoom that Crystal, Dr. Crystal Vance does. I got a Thursday night Zoom that Tracy Turnberg and Brent Palmer does. Who, who am I going, who on my trials is going to the Tuesday night Zoom? Who, who's been using the product that I can funnel to the opportunity Zoom on Thursday night? If I'm putting people on calls that are prospects, is that income producing activity, And Yes, it is. Absolutely. That's all we do. That's all we do. See, you can't make a person buy. That's not our job. Our job is to be the person in the middle connecting the dots between a person that's not in and our company. A person that's not in and our company. If that's a trial, it's a trial. If it's a box, it's a box. If it's lashes, it's lashes. Like if it's lip plumper, it's lip plumper. Like connect the dots. If it's hype, if it's excitement, it's excitement. If it's financial, it's financial. Like all I do is I find a person and I connect that person to my company in the area that I can benefit them and when you get good at the income producing activities of that on a daily basis now what it looks like is we just we just shared andrea's blueprint for success like guys if I was going to any network marketing company in the world, any network marketing company in the world, this is the way I would look at it. What do I need to focus on? And then how do I create the different income producing activities around those focal points? Does that add value? Do you see that? Is that, is that something that could help you? Yes or no? in your business. The, the, the biggest thing I see, and I'm gonna have Ashley jump on in just a second. The biggest thing I see in people growing a business is we can easily, and I'm include myself, we can easily take my focus, my focus, can easily get distorted. And I can start putting in a call to Crystal. <laughs> I could easily start putting in, you know, please, this is going to sound bad, but I could become the world's best mother. <laughs> I'm kidding, okay? You got to be a great, great mother and you got to do all that. But if I start putting in every area that I'm good at everything else and there's no time in my focal points for all the other stuff, listen, Crystal just said it micromanage. Micromanage is a great one. Like, whoo, I come here and I go, I'm going to micromanage everything. Listen, Everything the company rolls out, I'm going to analyze it because I can do a better job. I'm going to micromanage my team. Brenda, get to work. I need to call Brenda up, tell Brenda to get to work because I don't want to do it. So if she would do it, she'd grow my downline bigger. She's not working hard enough. Or just simply, I could run a, a gazillion calls during the week. And they're all good things. Like, again, the coach's corner is a great thing, but it's not income producing activity. So if I had four coaches corner type things a day and I consumed all my day with that, then guess what? I'm, my, I, I'm not focused around what's going to get me to the next step in network marketing. So, as we close, Andrea, anything in the chats 
I don't see the chat, so let me know. Chats so are wanna, running great. It's good. Okay, so I want to eliminate the clutter. I want to eliminate the clutter. It doesn't mean I don't do the clutter, but I've got to do the clutter around when I'm doing the business. So here's what I mean by that. Andrea wants to take her kids to the space center, whatever it's called. The space center. Well, good. But she's running for Catalyst Club 3. So if she spends all her time taking her kids there, she's not going to get to Catalyst Club VIP 3. So she's going to have to allocate time to focus on that. And then she absolutely, in the other pockets, takes the kids where she wants to take them or whatever it may be, right? We're just focused smart on our, our focal points of the business. So Ashley Paulson, I know you're, you're in Costco right now. Again, Costco is <laughs> Costco's not in here. But I promise you this. Wait, wait, wait. Got a, she's got her focus of what she's doing, and she'll get it done today. She'll get it done today. But she did weave in Costco and she did weave in other things, reading books, the book club, coach's corner. But she will get her focus in today. And that's where I see what makes her a leader and others a wisher, right? Because they let the, all the other consume them and they never get to the focal. So I hope that makes sense. Um, Ashley, can you hear me or no? I can. Can you hear me? Okay. Ashley, you've been on the income producing activity. What, what's your biggest takeaway from it? And why are you doing your own? Uh, so the team and I have been doing ours for about a year. Uh, so that just goes to show you that, like you were talking earlier, like taking away the Catalyst Club, right? I mean, it's it's one of those things. And I've, I've said before, I compete with myself every single day. And so um, with the IPAs and the, the calls that I've been doing, I've been doing those for about a year with the team. And so... When the Catalyst Club came around, I was like, I want to take this and share it with everyone. And so in 40 minutes, we have the IPA call. And yes, I'll be on there. I'll be out of Costco. Um, but basically what I do is I do a morning IPA call for 15 minutes with my team and an afternoon IPA call with my team. And then at the 1230 mountain time, I opened it up to everyone. And so like you said, it's one of those things where it's like, we all have errands. We're all at Costco. I saw Ann Wilson put Costco as her therapy. It is not mine, <laughs> um, especially down here in Colorado. It's crazy here, but it's one of those things where we all have life happening, but you have to schedule in those pockets of time, right? You still have life. You still have the day-to-day -day stuff. I'm going to my son's wrestling tournament tonight. It's the senior night, right? But it's what in my pockets of time during my day, can you get in the habit of doing those 15 minutes? That's where you get the results is when you put in the work. Okay. So whether you can join the IPA calls, um, I had it only going until the end of the month, but I really truly hope I saw Kathy Roberts. She said the IPA calls have been game changing for her business. Why? Because she's sitting down and she's being intentional with her time, right? So it's creating the habits. You can do that with or without me right? My team can do that with or without me on my morning and afternoon Zoom, but it's holding Ashley Paulson's feet to the fire. So um, I did see Dr. Crystal wrote in here, if, uh, I, like I said, I'm going to be at my son's senior night uh, for the wrestling duel. And so if someone wants to co-host with Dr. Crystal tonight on the women's call, uh, definitely reach out to her and help her out. I appreciate it. So. Yeah, Ashley, thank you for that. And if somebody could, Anthony, I, I don't know, if y'all have information on Ashley's um, uh, IPA call this afternoon, if, 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 if we could post that somewhere. Um, yep, we'll I did it post it yesterday and Renew You as well. So it should be fairly new in there. Um, so it is yeah. also in Renew You as well. Yes, and, and going back to what Crystal said, so Tuesday night, okay, thank you, Ashley, for that. Tuesday night, which is the night, Renew you. Like, like this is where I went earlier. I said, come on, flip it over here. So 
the last one, I know it's a mess right here, but Tuesdays, Tuesdays are renew. It's, it's, it's renew focused, meaning we want to take a trial and move them to a box. So how many people do you have that have a trial right now that you could put together a message that you could call them and go, listen, I want to plug you in to a call tonight, super short, where it's real people having real results with Renew. You're already on it. You're liking it. But I want you to hear from some other people. Now, Crystal's making it her sole focus to move them from a trial to a box easily for you. So it's a great opportunity for an income producing activity tonight. And if you are someone that could co-host that with Dr. Crystal, a female that could co-host with Dr. Crystal, please reach out to her on Facebook and, and let her know. Uh, just if you've got a good testimony, like this is your chance to serve, right? When, when given a chance to lead, you just step into the role. So if you're if, if you feel it, don't worry about it. Don't want, worry what's in it. You should just do it. Just do it. So reach out to her. And if she doesn't get you tonight, she'll plug you in and mix you in. We want to leverage you. We want to show your face to the world. Okay. And guess how your guests are going to think about it when you're the one on their share. So the biggest thing. I want for everybody. We didn't get to the rest of it. Um, there was something I was going to ask Tammy, but she might have had to jump off. Um, I'll ask her next week. So I'm going to end with this today, okay? I'm going to end with this today. If right now, it's so important for all of us to get geared around the right thing, like a plan of action. And then moving that plan of action, that focus to, okay, let's put it into a plan of what you're going to do every day during the week, for the week, get it down. So you know when you got an hour to spare, 30 minutes to spare, 20 minutes to spare, you can set that clock on your phone and you can go to work in that activity that you've already laid out, you've already prepared. And then over the next few weeks, here's some things that we're going to focus on. We need to make sure that we've got our story down for when we launch this new company, our two-minute story. Why Mac is doing this today. Mac has a successful photography business. Mac is doing some professional development and other things. But Mac is here on a Zoom today because he sees value in us moving into the future. Why is that? We got to get that two minute story down. I'm going to have Dr. Crystal talk, hopefully, come on one day and share how the struggle behind her creating her quick story but the power that she has today because she took the time to do it. We all need to have our story. And a lot of times, the longer you've been in the industry, you will lose your story. Go back to your grassroots. That's what people can connect with. Your mess. It's your message. Right? I don't talk about how much money I made in the industry. I got to go back to when I was a coach and I was looking for an opportunity. Now, we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to talk about um, presentation. What are you presenting to people? By February the 11th, we've got to have our mind around, if I sit down with Anthony Moreland as a prospect, what am I going to show Anthony? What's my presentation look like? Okay. How many of you would like to see Feel good about that over the next couple of weeks. Your story and a, and a good presentation to show people with. Guys, if you'll do this plan of action here for yourself, it's going to be phenomenal, especially when you put it into action daily. So, guys, we appreciate you. We love you. We hope you got value from today. 
Um, and thanks for everybody that commented, Anthony, Ashley, Andrea, Dr. Crystal. Robin's got a call on Wednesday night now. She just put it in the comments. Phenomenal. Make sure Robin DeMio, amazing leader, you can tune into that. So much going on. Figure out your focus and stay tuned.